everyone welcome to pernika maths today we are going to discuss ncert 10th maths real numbers exercise 1.3 in that see the first problem prove that root 5 is irrational i have to prove that root 5 is an irrational number what is meant by rational numbers and irrational numbers in the starting video introduction video i have explained you know any number which can be written in the form of p by q or called as rational numbers and which cannot be written in the form of p by q or called as irrational numbers for proving that it is a irrational number let me consider an contradiction for this means i am considering it as rational number if i am considering it as a rational number then it is in the form of p by q therefore let us assume that root 5 is rational so we can find two integers a and b such that root 5 equals to what p by q form means i am taking the two integers a b so root 5 equals to a by b i am considering it as a rational number now so i can write it in the form of a by b here what i said suppose a and b have a common factor other than 1 then we can divide with a common factor no and assume that a and b are co primes i am considering that a and b are co primes and i am taking one common factor which divides both of them then cross multiply it what it will become b into root 5 equals to a squaring on both sides uh, how much we will get b into root 5 whole square equals to a square square root cancel b uh, 5 b square a square by this what we can say a square is divisible by 5 if a square is divisible by 5 then automatically a is also divisible by 5 therefore what we can consider a equals to 5c here c is some integer now i am squaring on it both sides squaring on both sides sobs means squaring on both sides for a square equals to how much i will get 5 square 25 c square substitute this value in equation 1 b square into 5 equals to a square now here in the place of a square i am substituting 25 c square see here here 5 ones are 5 fives are so what i got b square equals to 5 c by this what we can say b square is also divisible by 5 if b square is divisible by 5 automatically b is also divisible by 5 here what i got a is divisible by 5 here b is also divisible by 5 means 5 has a common factor for both a and b a and b have at least one common phi as a common factor if phi is a common factor for both a is contradiction to the fact that a and b are co primes we are considered that a and b are co primes no but here we are getting a common factor phi as uh, phi as a common factor for both and a and b it is a contradiction so contradiction means what it's a false statement so what is what we can say by that our assumption root 5 is rational is false therefore root 5 is irrational did you understand ma simply shall i say again just i am considering root 5 is rational if it is rational means i can write in the form of a by b now root 5 equals to a by b no just um, here b is dividing let me send to this side it will multiply it i have considered squaring on both sides so i have got b square into 5 equals to a square by this we can say a square is divisible by 5 and a automatically a is also divisible by 5 a equals to 5 c a square equals to 25 c square this a square value i have substituted it in equation 1 so what i got b square equals to 5 c by this what we can say b is divisible by 5 and uh, sorry b square is divisible by 5 and automatically b is also divisible by 5 here what i got a is divisible by 5 b is also divisible by 5 by this what we can say a and b have at least 5 as a common factor but we have considered a and b as co primes no this is a contradiction no so then this is a contradicts the fact that a and b are co primes means our assumption is false therefore our assumption root 5 is rational is false therefore what we can say root 5 is irrational did you understand shall we go to next problem then second question what they have given prove that 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational let us consider same model ma i am considering 3 plus 2 root 5 as rational let us consider 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational 
if I consider 3 plus 2 root 5 as a rational, then how can I write, therefore, 3 plus 2 root 5 equals to what? A by B. Because any rational number can be written in the form of P by Q. I am considering A by B or here. A comma B or integers. So, what I can say? Here send uh, 3 plus 2 root 5 equals to A by B, no? Now, send this 3 to that side. Then what it will become? 2 root 5 equals to A by B minus 3. That's all, no? Now, take LCM for this. 2 root 5 equals to A minus 3B by B. That's all, no? Next, here, root 5 equals 2. Here, 2 is multiplying. If I send to this side, what it will do? Division. A minus 3B by 2B. That's all, no? Did you understand? How I got? Do you understand up to here? What I have done? I have considered 3 plus 2 root 5 as a rational number. If it is a rational number, I can be written in the form, it can be written in the form of A by B. Here A, B or integers. So, again, plus 3. I am sending to that side. Minus 3. I have taken LCM. Here 2 is multiplying. If I send to that side, it will divide. Here root 5 equals to A minus 3B by 2B. Here, what I have done? Here A, B or integers. Therefore, since... A comma B are integers. Then A minus 3B by 2B equals to is a rational number. If A, B are integers, then A minus 3B by 2B. Only uh, numbers are there, no? Then A minus 3B by 2B. It is in the form of P by Q. Then A minus 3B by 2B is a rational say a b or integers then what we can say a minus 3b by 2b is a rational if this is rational then root 5 is rational is root 5 is rational but this is contradict to the fact that Root 5 is irrational. Therefore, our assumption 3 plus 2 root 5 is rational is false. Therefore, 3 plus 2 root 5 is Irrational. Did you understand ma, what I have said? First I have considered it as a rational number. So I have written in the form of A by B. If A, B are integers then we have substituted for root 5 equals to A minus 3B by 2B. If A, B are integers then this is a rational number. A minus 3B by 2B is a rational. If this is a rational then root 5 is also a rational. But we know that root 5 is irrational. This comes because of a contradiction of the fact that we have considered 3 plus 2 root 2 is, 2 root 5 is rational. Therefore, we have proved that 3 plus 2 root 5 is irrational. That's all. Very simple, no? Let me go to the next problem then. Third question. Prove that the following. You are irrational. Same process, ma. Let us consider... One by two root two is rational. I'm considering it as a rational. Therefore, one by root two equals to a by b. Here, a comma b or integers. Then what I can say? I want root two equals to. I'm sending it to upside. Then what it will become? Root two equals to b by a. Here, A, B or integers. Therefore, B by E is a, B by A is a rational number. Therefore, then, root 2 is also, if B by A is rational, then root 2 is also 
rational. But root two is irrational. No? It is contradict to the fact. that root 2 is irrational therefore our assumption is false what we have assumed it is irrational it is a false therefore 1 by root 2 is irrational that's all did you understand ma? What I have considered? I have considered it as a rational number. So I have written in the form of a by b. Here a b or integers. Root a equals to b by a. b by a means it is a rational number. If it is a rational number then root 2 is also a rational. But we know that root 2 is irrational. If it is irrational then our uh, assumption is false. So 1 by root 2 is irrational. That's all. Let me go to next one then. In the same question. 7 root 5. In the same process ma. Let us assume that. 7 root 5 is. Rational. Therefore. 7 root 5 equals to. A by B. Here. A comma B are. Integers. Then root 5 equals to how much? A by 7 is multiplying. If I send to this side, it will divide. A by 7b. If a b or integers, then a by 7b is rational. Therefore, root 5 is also rational. But it is contradiction. Contradict to the fact that root 5 is irrational. Therefore, our assumption seven root 5 is rational is false. Therefore, 7 root 5 is irrational. That's all. Just we have assumed it in the form of rational. So, we can return in the form of a by b. If it is in the a by b form, then a by 7b is irrational. If it is rational, then root 5 is also rational. But we know that root 5 is irrational. If root 5 is irrational, then automatically our assumption is false. So, automatically 7 root 5 is also irrational. That's all. In this last and final problem in this exercise, that is 6 plus root 2. Same method, ma. Let us assume that. Six plus root two is rational. Therefore, six plus root two equals to a by b. Here, a comma b are integers. Then, root two equals to a by b. Here, plus six. If I send to that side, minus 6. Then, a by b minus 6 is rational. Therefore, root 2 is also rational. But it is contradict to the fact Root 2 is irrational. Therefore, our assumption is false. 
therefore six plus root two is irrational. Same lines ma. Did you understand? What I have considered? Just I am considering it as a rational number, so it is in the form of a by b. Here a b or integers or co-primes we can say a b or integers and co-primes. So uh, how can I write root two equals to a by b minus six? But a by b minus six is a rational. If it is rational, then root two is also rational. But we know that root two is irrational. If it is irrational, then our assumption is false. That is, six plus root two is irrational is false. So what we can say, six plus root two is irrational. That's all. Right here, here a b or integers and a b r co primes. Did you understand, ma? How are you getting the answers? Very easy, no? And very simple. Did you understand? If you have any doubts, give in the comment box. If you like this video, press on the like button, share my channel, subscribe to my my channel. Continuation we will see in the next video. Thank you.